The Detroit Marathon, in fact, has never been canceled in its 40 year history. No, Jermont Terry joins us live now. Jermont, what are organizers telling you tonight? Steve, organizers have been meeting all night and they will continue to meet overnight to make sure that the people who start this marathon finish safely. Over 26,000 are signed up, ready with their race packets in hand. We've been planning for this all year long. We got all of our bestest friends here. This group from Rochester will run the marathon in a relay team, and they're pumped to hit the pavement. Oh, we're going to destroy it. We're actually all over it. As excitement builds for runners, organizers work in the rain to complete the final touches. The start line is wet, tents are up, and everyone is looking up. Yes, we have noticed the weather. Right. Absolutely. It's going to be a little wet tomorrow. I have a feeling. Runners don't mind the rain, but it's the threat of thunderstorms with lightning that could, for the first time, cancel the 40th marathon, which runs through Detroit and Windsor. That is crazy. It was safety. Emails went out to runners, letting them know about the chance of severe weather during the race, which would mean the cancellation of the entire marathon. We've never canceled the race before. I'm, I'm, all of our fingers are crossed that we won't have to do that tomorrow. Event organizers tell me the radar pushes the severe weather over the race when many will be crossing into Canada. If it happens, they will clear the path and law enforcement will direct people to shelters. We have a system where they will um, announce that the race has been canceled. We have weather flags also. When we fly a black set flag, that means the race is canceled. It's okay. understandable. Would it be disappointing? Um, yeah, absolutely. No. I think spending all that money on a race and not being able to run it is going to be disappointing. But as it stands, this marathon is still on for tomorrow. Everyone is just hoping, hoping that the lightning stays away because they're waking up tomorrow morning ready to run. Reporting live in downtown, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Let's hope so. All right, Jermont. And if you're headed downtown for the marathon right now on ClickOnDetroit.com, we have a listing of all the traffic closures. And of course, you'll want to stay with Local 4. Andrew will have an updated marathon forecast for you bright and early on Local 4 News today starting at 6 a.m.